What is up, YouTube world? Happy Friday. I'm your brother Reza. This is KRT Life, KRT Life with a Y. And today, I'm going to shine some light on the situation. And the situation might be headlights. Headlights on your vehicle. How easy are they to change? Well, it really depends on what type of vehicle you have. Um, it can be very easy or it can be very difficult depending on your car. So on this one right here, it happens to be very easy. So I'm gonna do it right here, not in a parking deck, but in a parking lot, cause that's just how hood I am. So first step you gotta do is obviously pop your hood. And uh, that's simple enough. Most people know how to do that on a vehicle. Once you have your hood pop, you can go in, make sure you use your prop rod or whatever type of device you have to securely prop your hood up. And um, in this vehicle, it happens to be very, very easy to change the uh, bulb out because there's a little cap right here on the back of the headlight assembly that you can just take off by turning the cap. Is it clockwise or counterclockwise? Let's see. Well, I'm facing this way, counterclockwise. And then this cap comes off and all these little pieces around these tabs, they all align to uh, hold this in place when you put it back on. So that's very important when you uh, reinstall that. And then you gotta kind of use your imagination in this part because you can't really see in here. You have to be able to feel in here and feel the actual headlight bulb. Usually these things come out with a slight twist counterclockwise, like so. So here's our culprit right here. The uh, old bulb that's blown out and you can actually see it's blown out where the filament is actually broken. Can you see that on camera? Yep. So that's actually your broken filament. That This bulb needs to be replaced for this to work. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. And it's also very important when you're installing the new bulb not to touch the glass and if you do touch the glass you should um wipe the uh actual lens off with the uh, alcohol and uh that would get it back uh somewhat clean but yeah you definitely want to do that to prevent shorting shorting the life of the actual bulb because these things get really hot and when you have a uh, actual oil on your hands front on the bulb it creates hot spots and then it'll cause it to uh, prematurely die. So now I need like a little flathead screwdriver or something to pop this piece off where it's hooked on. Try to see if I can use my fingernail to do it. My fingernails are very weak. They're not like some people who can like bend quarters with their fingernails. I am not one of those people. Ugh, I need like a key or something. Hold on one second. Oh, do you have a key on you, man? I think this one is too big. Sometimes you have to improvise. This one is Seriously? thick. Oh, I might be able to get it off of this. Okay. Let's see if we can. There it goes. See, you gotta improvise sometimes and be able to use any type of tool to do what you need to do. There it goes. Uh-oh, dropped it. So there goes your bowl. There's your culprit. That's what's blown. We're about to go in here to the auto parts store and get the replacement and reinstall it. And we're gonna keep this little bracket because this little bracket is what actually holds it in. When you do, I'm Butterfingers today. I'm actually really sleepy all, so excuse me because I've been working really, really crazy hours this week. What car are you changing the light bulb on? Huh? What car are you changing the light bulb on? This is a 2012. As my lovely assistant just informed me, this is a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta, um, and it has the uh, what is this a five-cylinder engine or something yeah. weird? Yeah, the five-cylinder 2.5 engine. Um, yeah, we're gonna mess with this when we come back in, so we will join you right back in a few seconds after we go get the replacement bulb. Be back. in the glorious headlight bulb owl. Headlights are pretty easy to identify once you pull them out because they have a bunch of letters and numbers and code on the bottom of them that say different things and mean various things. This one in particular is an H7 bulb. And uh, you can see that right there, but it has a voltage, it has the wattage. It says it's DLT certified. It was made in Germany, it's a Phillips bulb, all that kind of cool stuff. But um, we're gonna look for H7 bulb and then we're gonna pay for it, I guess, <laughs> and go and reinstall this. 
So let's see, H7. Oh, and then lo and behold, there's one right there, but we want the single pack. So we're gonna look around a little bit more. Let's see, single pack H7. Where is it? Where is it? I see H1. I don't even have a dual pack for the H7. <sighs> Can never just hit the easy button. Let's see. Single. Oh, here we go. Wow. $16. Not too bad compared to a HID bolt, you know. That can be like a hundred dollars. So sixteen dollars. Here we go. Let's go. So we just scored our H7 bulb to replace this old broken H7 bulb, and now we are going to install it. So installation is the opposite of deinstallation or removal. <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do is pop the hood as you would do, like so. You gotta hit your button. Deinstallation. I be making up some words sometimes. But when you're filming, sometimes it's just like, you know, you just gotta improvise. <laughs> that's, that's the word of the day. Every time I say improvise, it should like flash up on the screen. <laughs> All right, same thing. Use your prop rod to hold your hood up if your hood doesn't have struts, like the gas struts that I showed you how to replace in the other video. So uh, you're gonna put your air fresheners right there so you don't lose them. <laughs> Uh, you want to keep your receipt somewhere handy. Well, you don't want to put your key on the engine because I've actually done this once before when I was really young. I had my key like sitting on the engine and then it like fell somewhere. Luckily, <laughs> luckily I had one of those long uh, magnetic uh, telescoping tools and I was able to get it. But yeah, don't ever sit your key on the engine. Headache right there. All right, so here we go. Show you guys how to reinstall this real quick. It's actually quite easy. Um, honestly, I don't even think I had to pull this bracket off of this piece. To be quite honest with you, I think that could have just stayed. And now we'll put the broken one right there. We'll open our new one and we'll be careful not to actually touch this. And I just put lotion on my hands right before I left because I was like really ashy. All right, we're gonna carefully open this without now. Honestly, some people, They'll go as far as to uh, put gloves on even to not touch the connectors because you don't really want oil on the connectors either. But in this case, I mean, I never had an issue doing it this way. So, c'est la vie. This part right here is the tab. This way is going to go up. And that tab is going to go down. You want that tab facing down when you reach in here and you push this thing in the hole that it belongs into. And with it facing down, you're going to feel it fit somewhat flush against the uh, headlight housing and you're gonna give it a almost a tenth of a quarter tenth of a quarter clockwise turn and you'll feel it you'll feel it click into place and once you feel it click into place you can click it back just to make sure oh yeah that's a definite click and once it's clicked in it's secure and uh, yeah that's that now after that make sure you replace your cap the, the purpose of this cap is very important this cap keeps moisture and stuff out of your actual headlight housing. Like say you were to run into some deep water or you know, just really torrential rain and stuff like that. That keeps moisture out of your headlight housing which has a lot of electronic uh, components in it like auto leveling equipment and um, just like, you know, really hot bulbs. So you wanna keep that dry and that purpose, uh, the cap is the thing that keeps it dry. So you definitely want this in there. And uh, this is pretty much the same type of thing. You want to make sure that you line up all these tabs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Line up the tabs and then give it a nice little twist. You want to make sure that those wires are all the way tucked in that are connected to your, um, your headlight bolt and your headlight housing. Once those wires are all the way tucked in and you can visually see that they're all, all the way tucked in, then you want to go ahead and reinstall this, this piece. And you can kind of see where one of these tabs on the far right is uh, located. You want to do like so and twist. And once you do that, it's on there. So there's a tab right here. You want to try to line up the tab from the cap to the tab um, on the actual headlight assembly. Um, and then once you kind of get them somewhere in the same position, you want to have it a little bit uh, counterclockwise off from it. So then when you turn it clockwise, you'll lock into position. And once it's locked into position, that's it. 
Last, the last thing that you have to do is test to make sure that your results work. So, now we test. Moment of truths. And that is how you change the light bulbs. Um, it's very easy. Uh, yeah, it's like super, super, super easy. It literally takes no tools. It just really just takes hands, and that's really about it. So as long as you have a pair of hands, you can do this job. Um, it should take you 10 minutes max. I mean, if that. And uh, yeah, so quick Friday, wrenching in the parking lot, not the parking deck, because we're not in the parking deck, obviously. So yeah, um, that's it. We're gonna hit you up with some more cool wrenching videos and some more five and five stuff. It's gonna all be coming up pretty soon. We're gonna try to film as much stuff as we can. Sorry for the delays last week. We had a lot of like things going on in like real life and had to address those things. But uh, yeah, so uh, Carity Life, Carity Life with the Y. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. If this video helped you out, please uh, drop a line in the comments and be like, hey, thank you for helping me out because uh, yeah, all the comments, all the uh, subscriptions, all the likes, they definitely help and they definitely give us more momentum to continue going forward. So we sincerely appreciate it, genuinely. And uh, yeah, I'm signing off. This is your brother Reza and the beautiful sister Kat is right now holding the camera and we got plenty of other stuff to do. So we gotta go do those things. And as always, I'm gonna go run off into the wild. So one, two, three, go. <laughs> uh, my baby is brand new. <laughs>